Austin will be our first uh, speaker tonight. He likes a tea. He, he likes tea a lot, and he will be telling us a lot about the tea industry and what he knows about tea. Hey everyone. Uh, my name is Austin Yoder, and I am. Hey everyone, I'm Austin Yoder, and I'm here tonight to talk about three shortcuts that you can take away from my experience in the tea industry here in Taiwan uh, and apply to your own startups overseas, regardless of what industry or country you may be in. I came to Taiwan for the first time in 2009 and immediately fell deeply, passionately, wildly in love with tea, um, thanks to a Korean friend of mine who introduced me to tea changed the course of my life. I feel extraordinarily fortunate that I get to do tea as my job on a daily basis here in Taiwan. And what I'm hoping these three shortcuts will help with is that if there are other people overseas doing startups, that they can help you do what you love on a daily basis as your job um, quicker and faster. So the, the first shortcut that I have found to be extremely important is you need to work with people who complement your weaknesses. When you're doing business overseas, you will undoubtedly run into challenges and problems that you would never imagine before. Like, where do you register your business, international commercial law, um, international business strategy. I was fortunate enough to meet my present business partner, David, who's trained in international commercial law and business strategy, which is quite handy. Um, and my strengths are I can be competent enough in Chinese to get us around on the ground, speaking to local tea merchants. Um, so our strengths really complement each other quite well. And as we go around and meet with different people in the tea industry, take trips out to Sanxia or other different places, um, it's just more fun when you're working on something on a daily basis with people that complement you where you're weak. Um, on a similar note, you should find local mentors if you're doing business overseas. So where a strategic business partner can help complement your weaknesses, a local mentor, this is a, a local mentor of mine, will buffer your knowledge of the local industry where you're weak. For example, my local mentor introduced me to this, which is called bug shit tea. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, bug shit tea. Um, it's made when this little bug, it's a moth, eats tea leaves, and it only eats tea leaves for its entire life. It poops it out, um, and then farmers go around and essentially with like tweezers and a magnifying glass, they pick up the little pellets one by one. They brew them up as a medicinal tea. This is what it looks like when it's dry. Um, it's, the, it's the most expensive tea in the world. It's currently one of our best-selling products, and I guarantee you that I would never have found such a a unique and crazy thing if it were not for having a local mentor to guide me through the tea industry in Taiwan. So whatever the equivalent of bug shit tea is in your country and industry, having a local mentor will get you finding it, it will help you find it faster. Thirdly, think internationally as early as you can. So when you have a partner and a local mentor, you're positioning yourself and business to live a story that is unique compared to the majority of stories of business in your home country and economy. Um, as you're going around tasting, for example, the, the best teas, the worst teas, banging your head up against walls, wins, losses, you're accumulating stories that people in your home market have never experienced before. People will pay you to discuss those stories and share the, the knowledge that you're building up here as you go around interacting with people, which is extremely valuable for you as international exposure. So you can position yourself uh, as a cultural bridge and a, a leader sharing the knowledge that you build up as you're building your business on the ground with an international audience. Ultimately, it doesn't matter what industry or country you happen to be in. Um, if you take these three things to heart, you will get to where you need to be faster and quicker. So if you can work with people that complement your weaknesses, one, if you can find local mentors and think internationally as early as you possibly can, you're setting yourself up for success doing a startup overseas. 
um, that's it from me. Uh, we're over at tour.com if you'd like to check us out, and thank you for your time so much. Have a great night.